What is it YouTube? Today I'm going to be doing a CD collection part 2 video. I, uh, you guys have seen part 1. And I'm recording on my phone this time. My computer quality just really turned out to be really bad. Um, I don't got a, you know, my computer camera sucks and then I don't got a microphone. So um, I think I'm just going to record on my phone. So, um, you know, uh, so where we started off last time is here. So I have got, so to start off, my part two video with uh, the rest of the D's. Well, I got more, but um, I got Disturbed, The Sickness. I'm sorry about the glare. That's my, um, that's my light. But uh, Disturbed, The Sickness. Let's see what happens if I uh, try to, like, turn it. If I can. There we go. There's not too much glare. Uh, Disturbed, The Sickness. This was their debut from 2000. And, uh, of course, everybody knows the song, uh, Down with the Sickness, you know, because that, oh, ah! you know, and that was, that was the best I've ever done that. I've tried doing it in the past, and usually I suck ass because, um, my voice either cracks or I start coughing. But I guess I can do that. Oh, ah! see, see what I mean? Like I messed up there. Oh, ah! see, I, how was I able to get that first time? But yeah, I couldn't get it that time. <laughs> oh boy. I crack myself up. I'm a comedian trying to be at least uh next up is probably my favorite disturbed album Ten Thousand fists album freaking rocks man like the the title track especially the title track stricken um their their cover of land of confusion originally by genesis is dope sons of plunder overburden just awesome album. awesome album cover too i mean look at this album cover just freaking dope man amazing album love it Uh, next up from Disturb, I got five out of their um, eight albums. There's one album I'm not gonna get, but because uh, you know, <laughs> uh, if you're wondering, I'm never gonna buy um, what was it, Invincible, like whatever from 2018. No, Evolution, that's what it is. On oh, no. um, their newest album that they came out with, um, I believe this year, um, isn't too bad. Uh, divisive, it's okay. <laughs> uh, Disturbed, Indestructible, uh, probably my second favorite album. Uh, probably my favorite album cover from any Disturbed album. On a, I used to have an old phone. It was a ZTE, like Alcatel, really bad track phone, like really crappy. But uh, my background photo was this album cover on my background. So yeah, uh, it's got good songs. It's got amazing songs on it too, like the title track and Inside the Fire. Um, next up um, is Asylum, pretty, uh, another pretty good album. Uh, the title track, Warrior, The Infection, really good songs. And then this is, um, this is my second, this is probably my third favorite album. Okay, no, actually, mm, this is actually my second favorite album. Sorry, um, Indestructible, you're my third favorite. This is my second favorite right here, uh, Immortalized. This definitely has one of my favorite songs, like top five songs, which is, uh, The Vengeful One. Of course, it's also got the title track. It's got their popular cover of uh, Sound of Silence, which ain't too bad. Not too bad. Um, the Light's a good song, just good album. Detroit Rock City soundtrack, is, it's a decent soundtrack. I mean, I will admit that there's some really bad stuff on here, like the, um, like the Marilyn Manson Highway to Hell cover is really bad, but um, most of the songs on here are good. Mostly classic songs. Uh, like, you know, you got Kiss and Van Halen and, um, uh, Pantera does a cover of Cat Scratch Fever, which is okay. Uh, Cheap Trick, um, Thin Lizzy's on here. And it's mostly Kiss. Let's just say that. <laughs> because it's literally about going to a Kiss concert. It's even named after the song. Okay, um, this is the, this is a collection I'm not the proudest of, but, um, these, these were for my uncle. But, um... Dave Matthews Band, uh, before these crowded streets. Some people don't like him. I think he's, I think he's good. I mean, Dave Matthews Band is okay. Uh, Dave Matthews Band, Under the Table and Dreaming. Got a handful of albums that are mouthfuls. Uh, Dave Matthews Band, Crash. And Dave Matthews Band, uh, Busted Stuff. Busted stuff. 
Yeah. Okay, not the proudest uh, discography, but um, it's whatever, kind of. Um, here's an underrated band for you. Um, Days of the New and Days of the New 2. A uh, pretty underrated band from the 2000s. Um, uh, yeah, in the late 90s, early 2000s. I think they were formed in like 1997 or something like that. These were their only two albums, though. And uh, they haven't made any sense. Kind of unfortunate. Uh, Dirty Dozen World. This was a hip-hop supergroup. Um, I don't remember who all was in it. I know Eminem was in it, but I don't know who all the people who were in it. Um, speaking of hip-hop, DJ Casper just uh, passed away, unfortunately, yesterday. If you guys don't know who he is, he's the one who made and did the song Cha-Cha Slide, which has been played at every skating rink, every birthday party, every wedding, pretty much. Uh, yeah. Cha-Cha, real smooth. <laughs> yeah, but uh, rest in peace to him. But um, Dirty Dozen was a pretty good super group. Next up, we have Dokken, the original album series. I used to have a couple of the discs, but then I sold them just so I can have this. Um, you know, it was only 18 bucks cheaper than what you get if you get all these separately for brand new and um they what i love about these original albums is that they look like miniature vinyls which is kind of cool but this has breaking the chains which originally came out in 1981 and um in europe but i don't believe it came out in the u.s until 1983 um and then there's tooth and nail under lock and key which was like their first like really big album that's the one's got in my dreams on it and um Unchained the Night, The Hunter. Uh, Back for the Attack um, is a really good album. Such That has songs like Mr. Scary, which has a good riff. And then Dream Warriors, which was in Nightmare on Elm Street 3, The Dream Warriors. Um, great music video of them killing Freddy Krueger with uh, screeching vocals and uh, guitar solos. <laughs> a really cheesy music video. And then Beast from the East, which I believe is a live album, I believe. I'm not really sure. It's either a compilation or it's a live album, so um, I'm not really sure, but um, yeah, definitely a great uh, collection. This is a, another original, well, this is five classic albums collection series, but um, it's the same thing pretty much, but I got Dio, five CD collection. This has, of course, Holy Diver, uh, The Last in Line, Sacred Heart, Dream Evil, and Lock Up the Wolves. Uh, Holy Divers, of course, one of the most influential heavy metal albums of all time. Uh, amazing album. Um, Rainbow in the Dark is my favorite song, but also Caught in the Middle, Gypsy, the title track. Stand Up and Shout is one of the best um, album openers in metal, in my opinion. You get that... And you get that Stand Up and Shout. I'm sorry, just I love breaking the song. <laughs> um, next up is definitely one of my favorite soundtracks. Um... Dracula 2000 soundtrack. Not the biggest fan of the movie, but soundtrack is definitely killer. Power Man 5000, Sturb, Slayer, System of a Down, uh, Godhead, Lincoln Park, Pantera, Static X, Head Planet Earth, Taproot, like Saliva. I mean, this is a killer soundtrack. If you're into like uh, hard rock metal soundtracks, definitely check out this. Uh, Daredevil, uh, the album. This is the soundtrack. It's got Fuel, The Calling, uh, Saliva, Seether, Nickelback. Um, and then one song on here is um, Caught in the Rain by Revis. And you're probably wondering, I mean, yeah, it's a good song. What's so special? Well, um, I am per I went to school with um, with the lead singer Justin Holman's son. I went to school with him. And um, I personally know Justin. He personally knows me. And uh, he's a really great guy. Revis actually just got back together after, I believe, like, 10 years of not, 10 to 12 years of not being able to release music. They had, they had some, uh, contract issues with their record label, and they pretty much weren't allowed to release any new music, but apparently they must have got that sorted out, because they've released, I think, two new songs on Spotify, My Imagination, and I forgot the other one, but, um, yeah, Justin's a really good guy, um, also, one of my best friend, one of my best friends, I was in choir with. Um, his uncle is Nathaniel Cox, who plays rhythm guitar in Revis. So yeah, uh, I love Revis. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, other stuff on this though, Evanescence has two songs on here. Um, again, pretty good album. And Daredevil's not a bad movie. Uh, I want to get some of their studio albums, but uh, Europe super hits. I will admit, though, this is decent, but they, um, I mean, Halfway to Heaven is my favorite song, and they got that on here, but they don't have 
Rock the Night on here, which kind of sucks. Because Rock the Night rocks. <laughs> um, Pilgrim by Eric Clapton. This is one I got from uh, one of my dear friends. Uh, Complete Clapton uh, from Eric Clapton. I'm not the... I don't listen to, like, his studio albums really that much. But, so this was perfect. It's 36 songs. It's, um... It's from everything he's been in, such as um, Cream, his solo work, uh, Derek and the Dominoes. It's pretty cool. Another thing I have, actually, that I don't think I've ever shown anybody, is that, well, I do have this. I do have this. This Oh, it's upside down. Um, <laughs> uh, this is um, Eric Clapton, uh, Crossroads Collection. It comes in this box. It's like really freaking huge box. And it's got all these uh, CDs in it, and it's a lot of the stuff he's been in. It came out in 1988. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's cool to show off sometimes. It's got like this big booklet that goes along with it. Yeah. And I obviously can't fit on my shelf, so I keep it below my uh, big shelf on my TV stand. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, the Eagles, the very best of. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of the Eagles, so this is perfect, but I do like majority of the songs on here. There's 36, I believe. 17, 16, no, there's, 30, there's 33 on here. 33 songs. Um, the bassist, uh, I forget his name, he actually just passed away recently. And uh, that's really sad, because he was a good bass player, but um, Eagles are decent. Uh, Evanescence, Fallen, pretty good album. I think Amy Lee is a good singer. She's a really good singer. Of course, Bring Me to Life, Going Under, and My Immortal are, are their three biggest songs, and those happen to be on here. Really good album. I want to get more of his studio albums, but this is like the only one they had like at Walmart whenever I bought it. But um, good, uh, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road by Elton John. Sadly, he literally just finished up his final show of his... Uh, Farewell tour recently. I'll never, and he only did it in Europe, so I wasn't able to see him, unfortunately. It's just sad. He's one of my all time favorite musicians, and most people would say, Oh, but you're a metalhead. That's surprising. I listen to more than just metal. I listen to 80s pop, um, 80s, 90s, and 2000s hip hop, jazz. <laughs> my mom scared me. I'm sorry, guys. She's a, she's a nutcase, but. Um, yeah, next up is, um, Diamonds 3 CD set by Elton John. This is dope. It has, like, 17 plus 17. But there's 17 songs on each disc, and if you guys want to do the math, because I suck at it, uh, you guys can do that math. But I think that's 52 songs, I think. But, um, re really good collection if you're, like, a huge fan of Elton John. And it only cost me, I think, 10 bucks at Walmart. It was on sale, so... Yeah, definitely check that out. Uh, Exodus, Bonded by Blood. Amazing Bay Area thrash metal band from the 80s. Um, just amazing. Only problem is that whenever I bought this CD on eBay, they said it had the original album cover, which had, like, the demon uh, angel, or, like, the demonic... The demon and the angel conjoined twins album cover, but no, I got this crappy reissue cover. But it's whatever. I, it's the music that really counts for me, so... And it's really good music. Strike of the Beast, of course. Legendary song in Thrash Game. And, uh, I only have two by them. I have that and I have Fabulous Disaster, but I want to get all their albums, which they have 11, I believe. But um, this is an amazing album, of course. Everybody knows the Toxic Waltz. That's like their most popular song besides Strike of the Beast. Uh, the very best of Fleetwood Mac. Same, same deal with the Eagles. I'm not the hugest fan, so this is good for me. Right here, this is like 36 songs, I believe, yep. And, um, you know, Fleetwood Mac's good. Uh, Trick or Treat by Fastway. This is my favorite movie soundtrack of all time. Like, if I had to talk about, like, my top ten favorite movie soundtracks, this is my number one. Uh, the band Fastway, which was a super group, it was, uh... I forgot the singer's name. It was, like, Jack something. But uh, the guitarist was Fast Eddie Clark, who was, of course, most known for Motorhead. Uh, for being a motorhead for a period of time, but um, this is an amazing album. Just good classic heavy metal. Amazing, and good movie. Check that movie out. 
uh, Faith No More, The Real Thing. This is one that my uncle gave me. He's a huge Faith No More fan. He He's a huge Mike Patton fan. He loves Faith No More, Mr. Bungle, and stuff like that. My uncle's weird, so of course he likes Mr. Bungle. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Love you, Uncle Ryan. Um, of course, Epic is a popular song that's on here. Uh, everybody knows Epic. Zombie Eaters is a good song. Um, their cover of War Pigs ain't too bad, I will say. Uh, Faith No More album of the year. Uh, this is another good album. This is from 1997. Yes, sir. And I have the Faith No More collection. Now you're probably saying, why would you keep, why would you have this and have the two CDs? My uncle gave me them and it was really hard for him to part with them, especially Faith No More. There's only one group that he wouldn't give me his CDs to and that's Rage Against the Machine. That's his fair band. I wish he would have gave me them, but um, he didn't, and I respect that. But Faith No More is like in his top five favorite bands, and it was really hard for him to give them up, so I decided to keep them. But um, this is the collection. This has the real thing: Angel Dust, King for a Day for a Li King for a Day, Full for a Lifetime, Album of the Year, and then Live at the Brixton Academy, which is a good live album. Definitely check that out. But yeah, uh, Faith No More. Mike Patton is insane on vocals. He can go low, high, in between every part. And then another CD, which was actually one of the first CDs I ever bought, whenever I really started getting into collecting CDs, is um, This Is It, The Best of Faith No More. Um, CD case is kind of eh, eh. And then on the album cover, or, or no, not the album, not the album cover, um, it's behind the CD. If I can get my stupid sleeve back in. Uh, if you look right here, one of the members has a fake pair of boobs, while the other one is naked showing his ass. So yeah. Fun. What else we got? Uh, the Best of Foghat. Same thing with Fleetwood Mac and... Um, and Eagles, I'm not really a big fan. Although I would like to get some of their studio albums like uh, Full for the City and um, Rock and Roll. But of course, this has got like Slow Ride, which is obviously the most famous song. Uh, Full for the City, which is a good song. Good classic Southern rock, if you're into it. Um, another band who is going on their farewell tour, and who I'm probably thinking about seeing in September, if I can convince my mom to go with me, um, Foreigner, original album series. Um, if I don't get to see them before they go on their farewell tour, I'm going to be really upset. I love Foreigner. This has their self-titled debut, Double Vision, Head Games, 4, which is my personal favorite and probably most people's. It's the most popular. And then Agent uh, Pro Provacuture. I can't pronounce that. Um, really good collection right here. Again, only like 18 bucks. Uh, Firehouse, self-titled uh, debut album. I also have this on cassette tape. I don't have very much cassette tapes because they're kind of expensive because they're really no longer being made here in the U.S. They're more foreign. Um, but this is an awesome album. Of course, it's got Love of Lifetime on it, which is a power, which is kind of like a power ballad kind of. Um, but my favorite song on here is Overnight Sensation. I found out about that song whenever I played Brutal Legend a long time ago. It's a game about heavy metal. Um, really good uh, game, by the way. But uh, Overnight Sensation from this album's on there. It's got a killer opening riff. It's got a good guitar solo, good vocals. Uh, Foo Fighters, The Color and the Shade. This is another one that I cut out from a printer with a piece of paper, but it was a not color printer, so yeah. It also, it's a burnt CD that my uncle gave me, so yeah. But um, it sounds pretty good, though, either way. But um, Monkey Wrench, Hey Johnny Park, uh, of course, Everlong is on here. Everlong, amazing. And then uh, Foo Fighters, uh, Here's Nothing Left to Lose. This is like the weirdest CD. It's just it folds out this much, and there's only there's only one disc. This was the first album to feature Taylor Hawkins. Rest in peace. He was a great drummer. Um, sad that he's gone. This was the first album he was featured on. He was featured on the rest of them up until he passed away. Uh, let's see. We got Fuel, something like Human, and Natural Selection. A uh, pretty good um, um, rock band from the. 90s to the 2000s they're pretty good 
uh, the faculty of uh, soundtrack. This was a Robert Rodriguez movie from back in the day, but it's got some good songs like um, I'm 18 by Creed, The Kids Aren't Alright by uh, The Offspring, Soul Asylum's on here, Garbage, Stabbing Westward, um, Show Crow's on here, <laughs> Oasis, Class of 1999, or Class of 99. Uh, Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction. This album is uh, really good. It's the best-selling debut album of all time, and uh, it's pretty good. Really good. Guns N' Roses is a pretty good band. I think they're a little overrated, but um, mainly because of Axl Rose. <laughs> um, this is a CD Warehouse CD, if uh, any of you guys remember CD Warehouse. Um, Guns N' Roses, Use Your Illusion 2. I got this from my uncle as well in his collection, so... It's an okay album, I guess. Uh, Godzilla uh, soundtrack. This is the 1998 movie, I believe. Yes. Silver Chair, Green Day, uh, Foo Fighters, Fuels on here. Um, Puff Daddy, The Wallflowers, Rage Against the Machine, uh, David Arnold, um, Joey Deluxe, Fuzz Bubble. <laughs> There's some weird uh, artist names on there. <laughs> I want to get I want to get more albums by this band, but uh, I got Green Day, Dookie, definitely a top tier uh, pop punk album uh, from 1994. Uh, Green Day, International Super Hits. That's uh, a great hits album from 2001. And then American Idiot. Unfortunately, this is the Walmart edition, and it's censored, which I really hate. I hate whenever people censor studio albums and all that. Like, leave it uncensored. Like, I don't care. I mean, that's the whole thing. Like, parental advisory stickers on, like, uh, vinyl records and cassette tapes and CDs, that's not going to prevent a kid from buying it. Like, that's not going to prevent them from buying it. That's the thing. It's the same thing with the movie rating system. You really think an R rating is going to stop uh, a kid from asking their parent to see it? No. So, I mean, it's really just useless, in my opinion. Uh, this is a rare CD. This is actually one of the most rare CDs I have, and I only got it for 30 bucks, brand new. Um, it's usually more. It's, like, over 50, but, um, Grim Reaper, The Grim Chronicles, um, this is, um, this is a really good British, new wave of British heavy metal band from the 80s. This has their first three albums, uh, See You in Hell, Fear No Evil, and Rock You to Hell. <laughs> they like hell. That's all I'll say. <laughs> uh, really good albums, though. Uh, Great White, Once Bitten, pretty good album. I'm trying to get more of their albums, but I got that, and I've got, uh, and I've got Hooked. Great White is a good, um, hard rock hair metal band from the 80s. Uh, Jack Russell, of course, is really good. Um, Godsmack, I'm trying to get more of their albums. I only got three right now, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so I, I've got... Yeah, so I've got three, but I'm trying to get all their albums, um, even their newest one, you know. But this is definitely probably my favorite, their debut. It's got my favorite song, Keep Away, on it, which has, like, a nice, good, heavy riff to open it up. And, of course, there's Voodoo, Bad Religion, um, pretty good songs. Um, the Other Side by Godsmack, this is an EP, I believe. Oh, never mind. I guess I only had two. Okay, I thought I had three. Uh, Good Charlotte, The Young and the Hopeless. Mm, an okay album. I mean, the anthem's a decent song, but Good Charlotte's kind of an eh. Man, for me. Whole Celebrity Skin. I I mean, I like like three songs on here, but that's it. It was one of my uncles. Um, I don't like Courtney Love, and for obvious reasons. Uh, Hootie and the Bl Hootie and the Blowfish cracked review. Funny story about Hootie and the Blowfish is that my mom actually met the lead singer uh, back in the um, I think she said the early two thousands. I believe she said that he was like a massive douchebag. So I don't know. <laughs> uh, Headbangers Ball um, Volume Two. Uh, this is from two thousand three. This is mostly uh, late nineties to early two thousands hard rock and metal. Um, it's got Godsmack on here, Hatebreed, uh, Stained, Cold, Deftones, Marilyn Manson, Seven Dust, Il Nino, Mudvayne, Spineshank, Static X, 
Kill Switch Engage, Stone Sour, Soil, Anthrax, Slayer, Murder Dolls, uh, which was a Joey Jordanson uh, side project, rest in peace, man. Shadows Fall, which is a really good band. Mushroom Head, not a big fan of. Rob Zombie, Meshuggah, As I Lay Dying, Strapping and Glad, Unearth, Soil Work, Poison the Well, E.T., um, E-Town Concrete, Motor Grader, Mastodon, Demon Hunter, Cradle of Filth, 36 Crazy Fists, Sworn Enemy, Devil Driver, Lacuna Coil, 18 Visions, Tarima, In Flames, Arch Enemy, and Lamb of God. Those are all the artists that are on here, and just, it's a good album. Like, I, I'm like, once I get my license, I know I'm a little bit late, I'm gonna get here in a couple days. This is definitely going in my, uh, CD player. Actually, never mind, no, it's not, my CD player's broken. I just remembered that. Um, Hoopa Stang self-titled album, not a bad album. Crawling in the Dark's a really good song. Uh, Heart Greatest Hits. I'm not the biggest fan of Heart, so I mean, it's a decent one. Um, another Heart Greatest Hits. I want to get the first six albums by this by this group, but it's Insane Clown Posse, um, the uh, the Amazing Jekyll Brothers. I also want to get like the Great Malenko, and uh, I really want to get the whole Joker Cards collection, uh, which is the first six albums. But I like this. It comes in like a really like dark red uh, case, and then it pops out like that. Um, I like Insane Clown Posse. They're weird and they're freaking loving. Uh, Incubus, make yourself. Incubus is alright. Now, you guys are going to call me lame for this, but I really... I only have two albums by Iron Maiden, and it's Number of the Beast and Power Slave. That's because I can't find any new anywhere, and then whenever I find some used, people are selling them for, like, the most ridiculous prices. It's ridiculous. I mean, I'm telling you. And, and money doesn't grow on trees, you know? I'm going to build up my collection, of course, but these are the only two I got for now, which is unfortunate. At least I got my two favorites, at least. And then um, this is The Many Faces of Iron Maiden. I got this at Walmart. It's just a bunch of covers. Uh, <laughs> I know what you did last summer soundtrack. It's an okay movie. The soundtrack is pretty good. Type of Negative, The Offspring, L7, Soul Asylum, Corn is on here. Uh, Goat Boy. <laughs> Uh, John Denver, American Music Legends. Um, he was a really good musician. Um, sad how he died. His later life was kind of plagued with alcoholism and legal troubles, and it's just really sad. Uh, Take Me Home Country Roads, of course. Uh, Rocky Mountain Highs are really two good songs. Uh, Leaving on a Jet Plane um, is a good song, but uh, we all know what happened to him because of a plane. Uh, Joe Satriani, Surfing with the Alien. I got the remaster, which sounds really good, but I wish it did have the original album cover, which was the Silver Surfer. But I, there was a copyright issue with uh, Marvel, so he wasn't allowed to do it. So when the remaster came, uh, they had switched to just like this uh, guitar neck. Uh, but a really good album, instrumental album. Just freaking rocks. The title track, um, Always With Me, Always With You. Ice Nine, Scat, uh, Satch Boogie. Uh, Jay Z, The Blueprint One, and The Blueprint Two. I like I like I like Jay Z, especially these albums. And then I got Jay Z, The Black Album. This is literally just a black album case, and then the album cover slips out right here. But literally, this CD case is literally black. Like, like you can't see through it at all. <laughs> uh, the. I can't pronounce the J the J Gales band flashback the best of J Gales or J Giles. Not really super familiar with him. Uh, Jefferson Starship Gold, pretty underrated band. This is my all-time favorite band, as probably most of you know. But I got the entire Juice Priest collection. I like Black Sabbath. I can show you what's all on here because they have it on the back. But um, we've got Rock and Rolla, Sad Wings of Destiny. Sin After Sin, Stained Class, Hellbent for Leather, uh, Unleashed in the East, British Steel, uh, Point of Entry, um, Screaming for Vengeance, which is my personal favorite. No, actually my second favorite. 
um, Defenders of the Faith, Turbo, which is the most underrated album, Priest Live, Ram It Down, Painkiller, which is my favorite. This is my second favorite, my favorite. Um, this is only the Rob Halford era, so uh, then we get Angel Retribution, Nostradamus, which is kind of disappointing, and then a Touch of Evil Live. So yeah, and this this was expensive. This cost me a hundred bucks on Amazon, but um, they're my favorite band, so it's worth it. And then I got Firepower by Judas Priest, and uh, that's the most recent. Came out twenty eighteen. I do also want to get the two Tim Ripper Owens albums, which are um, Jugulator and Demolition. I just can't find them anywhere for like a decent price. Yeah. Okay. Oops. Uh, the Killers, Hot Fuss, a pretty good album. Uh, Killers are um, really good. Somebody told me Mr. Brightside, really good songs. The Very Best of Kansas, just like with The Eagles and Fleetwood Mac and all that, um, and Heart, not the biggest fan, so this is good for me. Dust in the Wind is a good song, probably my favorite. Uh, Carry On Me With Sun, of course, is a popular song. I got, um, I want to get all this band's albums, but they have like 20, but Kiss Destroyer, uh, Lick It Up, and yes, I did put a sticker there, Carnival Souls, um, Smashes, Thrashes, and Hits, and, um, what is this? You wanted the best, you got the best. I want to get all their other albums, but, um, like I've said a million times before, money doesn't grow on trees. Um, Corn, um, Follow the Leader, and yes, I did put a sticker on this, but I put it on the case instead of the sleeve, which probably wasn't the smartest idea, but. Uh, Corn, Untouchables, again, I put another sticker on here. I want to get all their albums, well not all of them, but I want to get majority of their albums, but again, money is an issue. Uh, Loverboy, Classics, um, All Time Greatest Hits by Leonard Skinner, again, not the biggest fan of them either, but um, I do like all these songs on here. I want to get all this band's albums, but so far I just have one of their albums in a compilation, but um, Led Zeppelin BBC Sessions. It sounds pretty good, actually. Uh, Led Zeppelin 4, of course, that's the most popular. Stairway to Heaven and Black Dog. Uh, Lit, A Place in the Sun. My, my own worst enemy was their only hit, and that's what this is on. And then last, for, and the last CD for this video for part two is gonna be Lenny Kravitz's Greatest Hits. That's going to be it for part two. Uh, stay tuned for part three, parts three and four, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.